We're finally here, 8v8 Night Cup PC, on Conquest. I like Conquest, it's a lot of fun. This is VIP versus Wartime Identity. Best of three maps, not one map, three maps. The three maps are chosen by each team. First map was Siege. Second map is Goldman. The third map, chosen by the audience, this is just a coincidence, but chosen by the audience, was also Siege of Shanghai. And for those that are curious, the bronze match, which was APG versus Give Me Back My Son. Give Me Back My Son did win that match. Nevertheless, let's get on to the finals. Anyways, I think the mat or the battle to watch right from the get-go will be seeing what the helicopters do. Uh, th that's really going to dictate how the very beginning of this game is going to go. Is where the choppers go. Are they going to be going straight for B? Are they going to go straight for each other? No. Yeah, let's check out what Bounce Bouncy ends up doing. He is on WTD. They're going straight for that Bravo cap. So we're going to be seeing some drops coming in onto B flag. Might actually be seeing one going onto Alpha to get that quick cap. Nope, that is not going to happen as they're going to leave that up to their tank. So here we go. Chopper versus Chopper right onto Bravo. Drops going to be coming in right now. There you go. Two of them going to be getting down onto Bravo. Wow. They do have the first hit onto that flag. And it looks He's like on it fire. going into their favor. Oh, VIP, he's in trouble. Yeah. Nice job there. WDB will be taking that night there. Three kills in their favor. Beautiful job. Now it's all about to the infantry. What can the infantry do for VIP? Can they hold on to this Bravo flag? They definitely need to. It's going to be a three on three. Massive spawns coming in here onto Bravo. WTD may have missed their chance to really clean this out. Look at that. So many infantry are going to be down here. Bubblefish ends up going down. And I think that was all cleaned up. Only one left for WTD staying alive. Yeah. Oh. Nightwing needs to be coming in here with some support to try and clear this out. Wee Wee is one of the last ones up. He, he, people are spawning on, on him. Looking around, trying to see if there's any action. Does see one. A nice switch on Vildhausa. Kills that, him and Boom Baby Twiz. Holding it down. The bleed is going in their favor. Yeah, NASA spawn's gonna be coming in onto the Bravo flag right now. They're pushing up the stairs. Huge exchange coming out. Hello, coming out of the elevators. Peekaboo. He's gonna be able to take Ooh. out one. Spawn's coming in. There you go. Wee Wee is now down, and that is it. They are all cleared off of that Bravo flag. So beautiful plays coming in here for the or for VIP, able to take him down. Tank battles going back and forth. Nick's DK gonna be sitting back. Defending his uh, B lane here. Just going to be chilling out, it looks like. We do have a push coming in for it. Trigger. Uh, def. This is what I was talking about, guys. If you control B, you can get parachutes in onto the gimme flag. So this is going to be huge here. The fact that uh, they have to wow. pull back somebody to get onto Alpha. And this Alpha flag is actually going to get grayed out before Bubblefish, I think, can get onto it. Yeah, Tigger Def Def is uh, on Alpha. He is slow, solo capping it. Not anymore, though. The, the tank's back on it. But going back, looking at Boom Baby. Boom Baby fighting against Night Wayne. Here comes the fighting. Oh, no. Whoa! Night Wayne uh, does get taken out with Bounce Bouncy. We do see uh, VIP taking, taking the lead with the helicopter and holding down Bravo. Yeah, they are looking really, really strong right now. We do have one infantry here for WTD. He's going to be up underneath Nick's DK here in the tank. And it looks like it's going to be cleaned out. It is. File. Nice job recognizing, hey, we do have some players up underneath the bridge. Got to take them down. Being a beast, we'll be able to do that. Nick's DK now is going to be just chilling out, holding down a lot of this infantry, a lot of these tank placements. Coming in, and honestly, VIP just looking very, very strong in this map. And this is what I was talking about. Whoever can take B really can dictate the pace of this game. Yeah, we're going to uh, Sizor. He is uh, near Alpha on the rooftop, spotting all the vehicles. Uh, he's maybe, maybe doing some jumping down at Alpha, blowing up some of those glass. Uh, blow up the, the glass, he jump on down. 240 to 160, and, and, and going down. Uh oh, watch out, Sizor. Be careful. Here we go. We got Wee Wee gearing up for a push. Look at this. A three-man, oh. four-man push going up into the elevators on Bravo flag. Will it be successful? Oh, no. I don't know. Oh, this is gonna gonna going to be scary. Yep, here it comes. The advantageous side. Let's see if it can. Already waiting there for them. Oh. Beautiful plays coming from Alley Oops. Alley Oops Oh, my God. Did they just clean this up? They, it looks like they, there's only one, more. one on one now. One more. Oh, they're running. 
They're running around. Here comes a twofer. But once this helicopter... Oh, they all get taken out. Alley-oops the double. Way to go, Alley-oops. That was a beautiful play there from the IP. Able to hold on. Recognize, hey, we got a lot of pushing coming in onto this elevator. And we're just geared up and waiting for it. Are also going to be pushing away Nightwing. Has to go back and try and rep up. He is definitely hurting right now. And yeah, VIP, they're just they're just willing to sit wow. on these two flags. They don't even have to pressure Alpha. Boom baby with a stinger triple. You have a little bit of a suicide run coming in onto the main building of Bravo. Looks like we we was taken down, but they did make it into the actual B flag. Now they know that they're going to be coming up in the elevators. Now what I would like to see is a lot of feints happening. I, I think that they need to start hitting these buttons on all of these elevator doors to confuse them and then basically just go up one of the elevators. Just, you know, kind of fake them out a little bit. Oh, yeah. See if that's exactly what they're going to be trying to do. You have uh, a flag that's going to be getting grayed out right now. It looks like we had at least one, maybe two infantry players who are able to make their way onto that alpha flag, which is just going to be insult to injury as uh, really VIP is just beasting it up right now. I mean, they are exactly what chat was saying. They are cleaning it up and with E. Yeah, looking at the map, we see a few guys going up the elevator. Let's go check out if they're able to jump on out. Here it comes. Oh, no. One more up. Oh! It does look like the... Oh, boom baby, baby ends up taking out those elevator crews holding back on Bravo, but wait a minute. Helicopter versus helicopter action potential. Yeah, now we do have oh, a nope. little bit of a foothold oh, coming man. in here for uh, WTD as they were able to get at least one player up on top of the roof, but that is quickly taken down as the chopper is just doing some massive damage there once again. Wow. Just able to really control it. I'd kind of like to see WTT going for destruct or destroying the building. Now I'm not really sure if that's allowed in the rule sets or not, but if it is, they definitely need to try it. It is weak. All of these beams have been shot, so they may have been trying that at some point. But uh, they they got to do something now. 42 tickets left. This is not looking good. Yeah, I have to just think that WGD should try something different, pushing up on Charlie or something, because they keep on pushing up on Bravo, they either need to take it down, or they need to do something different. And those beams, you know, you see a few, uh, a few shots, and looks like they are going up to the top. Let's go to the top real quick and see how they fare. They're already waiting for them. Here it comes. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, WTD, you gotta do something different. I mean... Yeah, uh, another thing that they could possibly do, and we are seeing Nightwing kind of inching out here. You know, he's all the way in the south side of the map. He's actually over here next to the the, uh, the the main spawn for the Chinese team. If he was to get some drops back behind him, that would go a long ways in relieving a lot of pressure over there onto Bravo Flag. Because what they are doing right now is that they are consistently putting at least five players on Bravo. And... You know, there's, there's almost no way, with resing and the fact that they can spawn on B with that flag, there's no way that you can really take that back from them without exposing yourself, exposing that alpha flag, exposing, uh, you know, to, to any kind of a back range. And there it is. There's going to be the end. 233 to zero. Wow. And, and the only way that they're going to be coming back from this, Dastro, is if they get that initial cap on Bravo. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And hold, do exactly what we saw VIP doing to them. That's the only way they're going to be coming back from this. Yeah, that was tough. Other than that, it might as well just go over to a map number two. Yeah, so right now VIP has slated 66% of the vote is going to them to win this tournament. They did end up pulling the victory here for round one. We're going to round two. Uh, and uh, switching sides on Siege of Shanghai. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, guys, I gotta tell you what, after this match, I am going to crash. I am. I have been casting straight, I think, for seven, Ooh, eight hours. Eight, eight hours. Yeah, that feels like it. Eight hours, so, whew. Voice is a little rough. Eyes are starting to hurt a little bit. I've run out of tea and water. Sleepy90 says, to fridge, uh, VIP is, VIP is going to win this, and Nick's DK going to carry. He's going to do it. it. That very may well be. 
Because honest, th this remember this was WTD's pick. Yeah. For the map, and if they lose, that means that we're going to be going over to Gold Mud Railway, which seems like it would fit VIP a lot better. So, yeah, I I'm thinking that it's going to be very, very uh, one-sided if we don't see, like I said, if we don't see WTD taking that Bravo flag off the bat then it's just not going to happen. All right. So anyways, right there in chat, if it was up, the players were just asking, hey, as soon as we hit the 233 mark, if we do hit that mark, uh, then we will be going automatically onto the next map so that we don't have to sit through a lot of garbage time. Uh, because obviously they have already lost the map, so there's no real point in watching it anymore. So uh, we'll be going straight on into Goldmud Railway once it hits that point, if it hits that point. So here we go. I believe this round is going to be live. Not live. This is no, not live. It is not live. we are live. waiting for two more players to join in for WTD. Yeah, and while we wait, let's get What's your predictions here, Dash? Oh, I, it, to me, it's going to be real hard for WTD to come back. Uh, I don't think WTD can do it. I think that it's going to be uh, basically VIP will win this. All they have to do is drain tickets down. They know that all they have to do is drain tickets down. They're not going to be worried about their flag placement or their, their positioning on the map. They just want to get kills. So I think that this is going to be uh, this is going to be over. I think that WTD will have to uh, to really prove themselves and uh, win on Goma Railway in order to keep their dreams alive in this tournament. Yes, yeah, so switching it up, but bam. WTD versus VIP. Here we go. Going live. And here we go. This is going to be really, really crucial here. If WTD manages to win, that's, that's, that's going to be amazing. Is it live? Is this live? No. What's going on? All right. Uh, we're waiting for it to go live right now. It takes a little, f a few moments for it to do it. Uh, work on kind of if they are using work on, which they may not be using work on. It kind of thinks it makes it think for a little bit. It's like, do I really want to go live? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And it kind of just plays with you for a little bit. Sometimes it crashes. Sometimes it doesn't. You know, it does all that kind of good stuff that we have uh, know and love about Battlefield. <laughs> This is oh, live. Man. That's what they said. VIP on US, WTD on China. All right, so this is live. What are they going to do? Choppers, straight choppers, to Choppers, get to the chopper. Dastro, do you think that they'll be able to take Bravo Flag off the bat? WTD has to do it. I think, w think, I think WTD is going to stack up that helicopter like crazy and going to try to go for the kill. Absolutely. I, I completely agree with you there. I think that they, they know... It's on the line right now. Do or die for this map. They really need this map win. Really need it. They do. Here it goes. Let's check out that stack. We have Bounce Bouncy flying it out with Nihuayn Wapinara on the sides. Here it goes. And they are going to be. Here comes the peak. Oh, two drop. One drops. Uh-oh, three on one. Oh no! A drop fail. Not looking that good. Is, this is this is oh. basically over right here, guys. Yep, that's it. That's it. The win goes right now to VIP. They have taken Bravo. They've taken down the helicopter. There's no way that WTD mm. is going to win this. So, no. uh, yeah, we're going to be going on to uh, Goldman Railway. Goldman Railway. That is probably, oh, look at this jump. That, that, that's probably the fastest that you've ever seen a map being decided. But that's it, guys. That That is just going to be it. So GG's there to both of those teams. VIP just, just beasting it right now. Outplaying, I would say, WTD. And look at that. We already have VIP players over on Charlie going for that three cap. There you go. Yeah. They're, they're even saying just go to next round. So, yes, uh, yeah. yeah, we're going to be going on to Go Mud Railway here in just a few moments, guys. Yeah. I think that's it. So, guys, uh as we uh, wait, because I think we are, we will be changing it uh, right now, let's uh, let's do a, a quick recap of some of the highlights that we did see in the first round for uh, WTD versus VIP on Siege of Shanghai.
This one is, um, this one's going to be, ooh, this great, this great Boom Baby Stinger. Let's check it out. Son. Good stuff. But enough about Mel Gibson. Let's go live here instead. Let's do it. 20 seconds remaining. 88 action. Here we go. All right, so we have uh -oh. restarted. This is going to be match round live. You have both the helicopters being populated right now. Cannot get into the jets until the countdown timer is gone. And there you go. We are here. We are live. Jet play is going to be coming out. I don't see anything here for WTD. There you go. Finally going to be getting up in that jet. That's going to be Nightwing there. Let's check Dyke them out. Is also going to be back up. Oh, oh no, going for a jet drop right yeah, from the get go. Yeah. Now, how will Nightwing be able to, to take advantage of this? Um, we just because that you have air superiority does not mean you're guaranteed the victory here. Will he be able to do something here with with that helicopter? Takes it almost out. Oh no, not looking good. Ends up crashing. The helicopter ends up surviving. Get yeah, that was uh, a little bit of a fail on the, the part of uh, Nightwing there, unfortunately. Uh, as that is happening, though, we do have the, the attack chopper for WTD trying to do some damage over here next to that D flag. Once again, guys, that Delta flag will be moving if it is capped, and it is capped. B flag is also going to be in the possession of uh, WTD, or I'm sorry, as uh, VIP. C uh -oh. flag, the only flag that WTD has, Whoa. and now the attack chopper ends up going down, so yes. definitely not looking good there. We do have two tanks now finally going to be coming out for the Chinese team as they are going to be trying to make their way back towards that Alpha and Bravo side of the map. Waffen, though, doing a great job as infantry. We'll be holding it down, uh, trying to get anybody going over there towards that Charlie flag, but it's going to be a massive spawn coming in on the sea, and Dashker, this might be a four cap. Oh, well, but will Waffenar get a, a hit on it? No, he does not real close, but a four cap may be in the cards. Looking yeah, at this. Absolutely. Oh, no. WTD. They may get they may get all capped here. Not looking good for them. They, oh, that means they, they're on the burn. Wee Wee, last one up. Does take out Keat. Nice job. But yeah, and but the thing is though is that they're expending a lot of energy, a lot of armor on that Charlie flag. We have Nick's DK who's gonna be heading up in his uh -oh. is uh, armor four? as well. Oh no. Crummel, real close. Crumble. He's gonna be coming in on the back side of this oh, map. Oh, there it is. F1 going down by some slams. So that's going to be one armor piece down for WTD. Next DK coming around the corner. Spots out one. We'll be getting the first shots. And uh, we have some team, ki team killing action going on on WTD side. So maybe they're just falling apart right now. I don't know. Holly Flag will be going into their possession. 236 to 175. Definitely not the start that they wanted to have after that brutal loss. Ooh. To Shanghai. It looks like that the stealth jet did try to throw uh, some ordnance at Next DK. It takes a bit of damage. 17% health. Does end up get taken out by uh, the 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 Z10W, which is the attack helicopter. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we are going to be seeing the armor pieces playing very intelligently here for VIP. We do have some infantry play Ooh, coming in. Does get tri uh, next to Bravo. Ticker Def Def does take out uh, the attack helicopter, going back to uh, Boom Baby Twins. Loud. Let me turn it down a bit. Yeah, Twiz is going to be trying to come in here for that uh, uh, armor drop. Wow, he is nice going to be disable. able to do that. Gets the disable. That's going to be helping out his teammates quite a bit to try and survive here. Infantry push coming in. We'll be able to take down that tank from VIP. And now we do have a huge back rage coming in. So this is going to be uh, cruel coming into that Delta flag, trying to get it back for his teammates. I don't know if it's going to be worth it. Uh... He, he probably will be able to get the cap. He most definitely will get the cap, but he, they're going to be leaving the north side of Charlie completely wide open. And for whatever reason, we have a massive amount of players from VIP up here onto Bravo. Look at this. We have five players from VIP just chilling out on B. They could be walking down into Bravo or to Charlie, so I'm not really sure what the deal is there. And now uh, Sios, who's had those amazing C4 kills wow. in Zavod, will be making his way up with those slams 
on to Alpha Flight. Yes. We do see WTD taking back Delta. It's slowly going back in their favor, but it's going to take a long time before it actually gets to the middle. We do have uh, quite a bit of vehicle superiority going on for VIP with their attack helicopter and stealth jet up on in the game. Yeah, some straw action going to be coming out for Seos. I don't think he's going to be able to hit it. Nope, he does not. He ends up missing it. Yes, one bailer unfortunately. on Delta using the stealth helicopter jet as a taxi cab. They are slowly getting it back, though. You can check out he, he's, in his, he's in his jet suit. Twiz in the jet suit. Yeah, Twiz will be able to get that Delta flag back for his teammates right now. We have a two-on-two -two fight shaping up over here onto Charlie Flag. At the moment, it seems like, oh, no, a one-on-one -on -one now as uh, Tox is going to be the last one back up. He's not an assault, so he can't get his buddy up. But he does have a chance to get some massive spawns coming in on him in just a few short seconds. 218 to 116. This is looking heavily in favor of VIP here as they are just beasting their way within this matchup, trying to get some cheeky RPG skills. Will not be able to do so. Looks like uh, Bubblefish will be taking him down. Bring that flag back for his teammates. It's a one on three. Waft the last one back up onto this alpha flag. I don't see this going his way whatsoever. Nate's Bam coming oh, in. Spots no. out one. Will he be able to get the kill? He does get the assist. His teammate ends up getting the kill on that one. See if they can make something happen. A backridge coming in for Toxic. Yeah, go. This, is, it this is just not looking yeah, good, Dastro. It is. I mean, it, it seems that WTD is trying real hard just to secure one one point. They have Charlie, but as we can see, Charlie is has a three for on him. Oh, no. Let's go check out uh, Get Wrecked on WTD. He is taking back on Bravo, but I, I must say, losing that Delta at the beginning of the match uh, is it has costed them dearly. They tried real hard to get it back with no success. No, I honestly don't even think that Delta flag really means a whole lot. The fact that they weren't able to get onto Alpha and Bravo is what's really hurting them. That early jet drop secured three flags almost right off the break. And what that allows, not only are they getting the bleed in their favor there, Dascro, but they are allowed to get spawns that are closer to the other flags in order to reinforce them. Something that we were not able to see from WTD, as they only had the Charlie flag, which means they had to cover a lot of open ground just to get to any kind of reinforcing position. And uh, they are able to get B flag back. They're going to be making their way over onto Alpha here. And they will be able to get that burn into their favor. It is finally going to be canceled down as we did have some spawns coming in on Tigger Death. So there is some hope here as uh, they're slowly but surely clawing their way back in. B flag will be flashing. Should be getting canceled out by COs here in just a second. Ali Oops is going to be trying to stay alive over here on the Charlie for VIP. He does end up getting oh. one. Can he get the second? He doesn't. Misses out on that. One on one fight. No. We'll be seeing Toxic winning out there, so not going to get the three-cap bleed in their favor. Yeah, uh, Toxie. Toxie on Bravo. He's taking it back slowly, although if you know, if, if one guy spawns in, he may be able to take it. Maybe. I don't know if it was a secure cap or not. No, clearly it wasn't because it's all grayed out. Uh, but, and at the same time, VAP pushing up on all, three, all two of the other flags as well. Although Delta is being contested with three WTD guys on Delta. Really yeah, this is something that I just don't understand. Why are you expending three players on one flag? This just does not make any sense at all, especially when that flag has absolutely no opposition. And they really need the players up next to Bravo and Alpha. They're losing the cap on B. They're losing the cap on A. It's just not going into the favor. Armor pieces are going to be pushing up for WTD, but it's not going to be enough. NixDK already has the positioning on them. They already have the high ground. This is just all around not looking good. Round number two is it, it's going to be shaping up like a, a Siege of Shanghai match that Maybe. we saw in round number one, where really they're going to be their backs are going to be against the wall massively. Yes, uh, Krumel is pushing up on Nix. He's taken out one, trying to get some shots, but uh, it's just a few trades here and there. Uh oh, that looked like a TV guide missile. Here comes the second one. Will it be a hit? It is a second hit. That 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 tank's not doing good, and here comes Nix to clean it up. Will he get the shot? Does he have a shot? He's trying to get the shot. Here it comes. Look how deep he is in that hole. And Nix finishes it up. 
Yeah, so the dream is uh, somewhat alive, but it Ooh, is just flopping there. It, it's it's definitely on life support. We will be seeing Charlie Flag going back to the favor of VIP. B Flag is also going to be getting cast or capped out. But they are switching back over onto Alpha, something they should have been doing a lot earlier within the round. Jet Arg is going to be up. Nightwing going to be making his way over towards that chopper. Can he take it down? Doesn't even matter if he does take it down. I don't know. That chopper, I haven't seen it really come into to play that much, and he does end up getting a kill on it. Yes, Nightwing does end up getting the kill on it, uh, but will this advantage turn into anything more concrete? He is jumping down to Bravo. And this is a smart play by Nightwing. He killed the helicopter. He doesn't stay in the jet. He drops out and he goes straight for that flag. Very smart play for that player. I, 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 I like his attitude there. He knows, hey, we need to get flags. We don't need to get fancy killing jets. We need to get flags. And that's what he's going to be doing here. Wow. 192 to 50 in favor of VIP. We do have Charlie Flag slowly but surely getting grayed out, going into their favor. They do have control of Delta still. And it's going to be heading on over to their side of the map. VIP and A flag are firmly going to be in the possession of VIP. VIP making a massive push. Coming in here onto Charlie Flag. It's going to be a three on four. Let's see who can come out on top. Yeah, Night Nightwing uh, did a real good job at holding it down. WTD, I think, will end up taking it. Uh oh, is that an ID? Oh, Krumal. Krumal does take out Boom Baby Twiz. Almost goes for a devil. We do see ICM cleaning it up. Get out of here. It's now even, even on the flags with WTD having Delta on their end. But look at this, a three man push on VIP trying to get that, that back. Clearly this seems to be a flag that people want to be able to hold on to. So right oh, now nice we straw have, kill by Wrecked. Wow. What a straw and kill. And we do have D-Flag getting contested right now. We do see two players making their way on it from VIP. So nice job there. We have uh, Sykesor who's able to get up into that jet. Going to be laying down some strafing fire onto ICM who made his way over onto Bravo. And we're seeing quite a bit of these flags being contested here. Alpha is going to be getting contested. Nick's DK, can he stop this push onto A? He is going to be making his way there. And that flag is now going to be canceled out. Being some initial straw shots on him as well as some small shots. Go by Nightwing. Oh, we're loud. Let's going. What is Nightway doing? Nick's DK going to be in a little bit of a precarious situation here. He doesn't have a rep with him. Ends up it taking out that tank. Down. Wow. Remember. So here uh, we are at the end of the game 175 31. It is a tied game. 2 2 flag setup. Because it's a four flag setup. It's going to be basically down to attrition here, which is why I think it's going to go into the favor of VIP as we're just not seeing a whole lot of fracking power coming out of WTD. It's going to be 18 and 8 for Wappen, 19 and 11 for Wee Wee. But the problem is, is that they're really the only ones doing anything on this team. If you look over here on the VIP side, oh, no. interestingly enough, they're not doing so well in the KD department, but they're on the flags. And that, in the end, is what matters. Getting in on those flags, C and B and A, all going into the favor of, uh, of WTD here for just a few short moments. Going to be able to drain down those tickets just a little bit to make it a little bit easier in the next round to come back in. We're going to be making his way up onto Charlie Flag. Not sure if he's going to be able to make anything happen out of this, as uh, we only have one, two, three players going to be making their way down on it. But look at Ooh. this cluster, Dastro. We have four, five players five. from VIP now on Charlie. There's a lot of VIP players. Uh, we have uh, we have I uh, we have ICM on ch uh, pushing up on this tank, trying to get some cover. They are losing it. WTB holding Alpha Bravo. I don't see any pushes by VIP onto Alpha Bravo. They are taking holding it back. Yes, they are. Chopper is going to be up though. Whoa! Oh, is he going to go for a chopper? Uh, oh, he almost hits it. Going to be getting back up. Is he going to be able to cause any damage oh, here? He Nick's does. Takes out the vehicle. Down. 
Though so here at the very end, Dastro, a little bit of life <laughs> being breathed into this match here from WTD. Yeah, the Jeff going to be coming up, able to take down that chopper. So airplay is almost negated on this map from either of these teams. Let's see if Nightwing actually jumps up in that jet to try and take care of Psyche. I don't know if he will. A flag is getting get, uh, contested. B flag is also going to be getting contested. Tank going to be pulling back for ICM. Oh, will look at those slams. Do I don't know. Those slams. Was he? Is he going to run into those slams? Uh oh, he's getting closer to it. Oh, he hits the slams <coughs> preemptively. Nice job. Nice job by ICM. Absolutely. 143-16. Oh, he goes down there. He does end up getting taken down. And honestly, at this point, we have two of the flags, A and B, both getting contested. B does end up going into the favor of VIP. A will shortly go into their favor. If we don't see Wee Wee being able to take down this last player, it's going to be Kaid, who's just chilling out right now up top. Oh, no. We'll be able to get one. Can he get the second one? It's going to be Wee Wee. Still going to be playing Ring Around the Rosie here. Last player on A did end up getting killed, so that's going to go back to a neutral flag. He is also going to be getting contested here for just a few moments, but Get Wrecked was taken down. XDK making his way up on the Charlie flag with that tank. Going to be getting a couple of shots on him. Slam's going to be coming down on him. Can they make anything happen? If they're stuck on his G or on his tank right here, very low on health. Straw comes out. Beautiful play there by Seos once again as that guy knows how to take down some tanks. And another straw play coming out. Can he take this helicopter? He can't. No, that was so close. So close. This is that shot. Uh-oh, is that a GIG? What is he doing? It very well might be a GIG. No, it is not. Oh, Just trying to get a little bit of a back rage going on here. We'll be able to do so. That's going to be Ali Oops. Who ends up pushing in onto that Charlie flag? Seos oh, is also there it. along with Wathen. Is it even going to matter if they hold on? Five tickets left to go. Two flag lead is going to be in the favor of VIP here with C being contested. Going on over here onto Alpha flag as it was finally going to be getting taken by VIP, and that is it. 129 tickets to one. There you go. 129 tickets going into the second round. That's a tall order once again for WTD to come back from. I don't know if they can do it. VIP really showing why they chose this map, showing you their dominance. Oh, they yeah. just know how to play it, Dashgrove. They, they just know how to play it. They do know how to play it, but you got to give kudos to WTD for a turn it around towards the end there. I did like to see. I did like how they were able to bring down quite a few tickets towards the end there. Uh, holding it down to the very end, I still think WTD has a shot here. If they can, uh, if they if they can uh, really uh, maneuver as 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 well as VIP did in moving from one flag to the next when they realize that, that it's they're not going to take it, then I think they may have something. But we'll we'll see in the end. We'll see in the end. Yeah, absolutely. So, anyways, guys, we're going to be heading into round number two here in just a second. If nobody drops here, we will be going live on this next restart. Once again, we do appreciate you coming out and watching. Remember to hit that follow button down below. 32 is going to be coming up next weekend. Definitely are not going to want to miss that. Yeah, it's going to be fun stuff. Hopefully we will be casting them. Are we going to be casting those, Dastro? I'll, I'll be casting a few of them. There you go. We're going to be casting them, so yeah, you can we'll check out this stream right here next week. Check out some 32v32 oh, it's gonna be fun. action. It's going to be real fun. Awesome. I'm looking forward to it. So here we go. It is going to be live, live. Yes, it is. VIP is going to be on the Chinese side. Get wrecked, or not get wrecked. <laughs> WTD uh -huh, WTD. on the Russian side. Sorry, guys. I'm uh, a little bit fatigued here. It's all right. It's all right if you're a little fatigued. But we're all good. Keeps are going to be coming out for both sides of these teams. And just a reminder, Echo cannot be taken. Echo will not be taken. You can take any of their points, especially Delta. Delta is really important. All right, so three seconds left to go. Are we going to be seeing another jet drop? Are we going to be seeing uh, maybe some more infantry play coming up from WTD? I don't know. Here we go. Jets are going to be up in the air. And, yes, that's exactly what we're going to be seeing. VIP going oh, for another jet drop. jet drop. Nightwing not going to get a chance to have some jet-on-jet -jet action going no. on. I imagine he's going to go straight for this helicopter, though, to try and kill it. The thing is, though, is that if that helicopter spots it out, the, the stationary AA 
will be able to defend him, and I think that's exactly what we saw on that last situation there. Yeah, Nightwing Night, Night just sort of, you know, being very much more cautious in this respect. Well, I think I think he recognizes the fact that, uh, you know, that is what Boom Baby is doing. He's sitting back, just waiting, and, and letting uh, really Nightwing kill himself almost. As uh, there you go, stationary AA already heating up. Got a couple of shots in onto Nightwing. Nightwing has to pull out. He does. So that is a smart play coming in for VIP. Uh, initially or immediately, VIP going to be taking A and B and, as well as Delta. Delta. Flag. This is looking exactly like round number one. It's a four on three fight on Delta. Look at that big emphasis by WTD on Delta. Boy, they're just going down one by one. Lots of deaths. Here it comes. Oh no. Whoa. Uh, Kai ends up taking up Toxie by himself by accident. Wow. It does seem like that WTD uh, is winning the fight on it, but they, they still got to grab Delta. Look how fast they're running to it. Oh, and look, they're getting raged, back raged. Oh, here it comes. He's going to knife him. No, he's not. Get wrecked is taken out. They're still taking it slowly. I will say this. Oh, shit. It does look oh, like no. we're seeing a little bit mm -hmm. more uh, spread coming in here for WTD. They're going for that alpha flag. Uh, they're also going for that Delta flag initially. Unfortunately, they were all taken down off of that Delta flag, so that's not going to be going into their favor. Uh, but we do see Nightwing once again up into that jet, trying to get that helicopter down. Not successful so far, as uh, that, that stationary A really proven to be just a pain in their side. And three cap, three flag cap going in favor of VIP right now. Remember, they have to win by 129 tickets yes. in order to take this match. Once it goes below 129, it is all over. We will not be seeing a game number three. Mm -mm. So right now, it's all up to uh, it is all up to WTD. They only have about 60 to 70 tickets to play with here. I don't know if they can do it, Dasgro. I don't know either. Don't know either. I, I although we're gonna see something different here. No, Delta is being contested. If anything, by wow, surprisingly by the helicopter. But oh, I spoke too soon. Gets shot out, and it's dead. Absolutely, Nixty Heat, Nixty K, gonna be up in his tank between that C and B flag, gonna be providing some cover fire, mm -hmm. going back and forth with his teammates here. Uh, Crumb is also going to be pushing up, but he has to deal with some infantry here behind a rock. He'll be taking him down. Nice mm -hmm. shots going in there. Alpha flag also going to be heavily contested. Toxus uh, will be up. Takes out Wee Wee. Oh, I see him. I like, this, uh, him. I like this This. gun. I don't think he's going to actually get anything out of this. This is good. Isn't that effective? But it's still worth trying. Oh, Z1. Does take him out. Ripping it up. With it, with the secondary. Good stuff. There you go. We do have a tank going to be pushing up onto that Charlie flag. I think they actually lost that tank there. As uh, we we going to be bailing there at the last second. He's the only one onto that C flag. Kide is going to be there to try and defend it. Spawn bombs coming in. Next DK going to be getting some long range shots coming in onto Charlie flag. Should be able to clean that up pretty easily. But a massive push coming in onto that Bravo flag, oh. and it's only going to be a one on three with Cios. Uh, the only one to try and defend, and he ends up going down. So uh, all three flags, uh, or three flags, are going to be getting contested right now. D firmly in the possession of VIP as it's going to be sitting nice and uh, comfortable over into their home flag. Home spawn. 60K just going crazy right now. Ends up going uh, going down, Ooh, it's trying to push it on to Charlie. His, gets killed by his own teammate back. He gets pulled by Keed. Yeah. Oh, no. So not going to have anything happen there. But Alpha Flag going into their possession with Bravo. It is looking pretty decent for VIP. If you're a VIP fan, you are happy, happy, happy as they are just dominating in this finals match. That they are. Looking at, uh, looking at Toxie, he's... Uh... Win the little Jeep, moving around, but uh, it's it's real hard for to see WTD try to get a reaction on here. They are trying to get back on Delta, but look at this. Is that Nyx? Nyx is, is e easily defending it. This is not going to look good for WTD trying to get Delta back with one guy. 
Oh, Nyx takes some damage, though. What, 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 what did Nyx get hit by? It does yeah, he is going to be hurting right now with 58 health. Uh, he's getting a couple of straws coming in from Delta, but uh, I think that those guys were cleaned up. You see some long-range shots coming in from one of the tanks over there next to Charlie Flag. So he's going to be pulling back. He's going to be sitting in a really nice, comfortable spot, able to get the reps going down on his own tank there. Twiz will be pushing back up onto that Charlie side of the map as uh, he spots that one tank. That's going to be IMC pushing up onto C Flag, trying to defend that. But he's going to be getting hit in the back. Not good positioning on his part here. And that is going to be it. 142, 230. Already GG is going to be getting thrown out from WTD. They know that this match is basically over. They are just oh, now yeah. going to be contesting Alpha Flag. From is going to be getting a mm. shot in the backside. Ends up running over one, but he's only wow, got four nice heads double. left. Pulls back oh, no. Up, tries to get the... Oh, he's so, so close to... So oh, enough. he's so close to dying. So close. And there you have it. It is game over. Congratulations there. It's a VIP. They are going to be winning a level BF 8v8 Night Cup. In commanding fashion, I might say, Dashgar. Oh, yeah. In commanding fashion. Yes, VIP uh, doing very well for themselves in every one of the rounds that they played in. Uh, WTD had, had a really close match uh, with um, with uh, Give Me Back My Son. They most certainly did. Absolutely. So, once again, guys, appreciate you coming out and watching. I had fun. Dasker had fun. We all had fun. We thank every single one of the teams for coming out and playing. We do apologize for the slight little mishap that happened. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, will, we will definitely be fixing that mistake as the time zones were a little bit off. And uh, you know what? It happens. Yeah, it happens. Next time it's going to be a lot better. We do have the 32v32 is going to be coming up next week. Definitely look out for that. And uh, for any other events that we have, you can go check out our website. Link's going to be down below. Scroll down there at the Level BF website. Yeah, go check, check it out. that out there. And then also, thank you to Trinity Games for providing us with all of these servers. They provided us with eight servers that worked flawlessly today. Not one of them crashed, so yeah. definitely appreciate those guys. And then, of course, all of the Level BF staff for working very, very hard. want to point out Hustler for putting on this tournament. Going to be pointing out uh, Snowblind for helping running the, the actual servers. Aether uh, for putting on this amazing, amazing uh, overlay that we have. He's been running that the whole entire day. Kugla has also been there helping out, giving me information, giving Dasgro information. And then oh, yeah. I want a, a huge shout out, and Dasgro can agree with this, to Wee Wee for yeah. creating the overlay in the first place because we have this amazing, amazing look all thanks to him. So massive props to you, broski. Awesome stuff. So anyways, guys, I am Brett FX, joined by Dasgro. I'm going to be heading out. Because yeah. I'm tired and be casting for nine hours. We'll see you guys later.